In this video, I'm gonna show you how to quickly and easily create YouTube Shorts using ChatGPT and Canva. We're gonna walk through the entire process so that you can get up and running quick. Make sure you watch this entire video to learn how to do this step-by-step. Step. Hi, my name is Alston Godbolt with AlstonGodbolt.com. I create content to actually help you make money online and not just to put money into my own pockets. And if you want to be added to this globe, simply reply or comment down below with your city, state, province, country, and I'll get you pinned. So as I mentioned, what we're gonna do is we are going to use ChatGPT and Canva to create YouTube shorts that are engaging and that keep people watching. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into my computer. The first thing that we need to do is we need to think of a niche. Now a niche is just an area where you create content. There are literally millions of niches out there, so don't get bogged down trying to figure out the perfect niche because there's no such thing. What we can do is we can think of things that are happening around us every single day. For example, if you have a pet, you might ask a question like, can cats eat strawberries? Or can, can, can cats eat almonds? Something very basic like that. And if we do can cats eat almonds like this, you can see that this is a pretty common question. This is a question that people are thinking of. And to further verify that point, I can go to a paid keyword research tool. Now you don't have to do this step, but you just wanna verify whatever it is that you're talking about is going to work, we can go over to a paid keyword research tool like Ahrefs and we can type in something like, can cats eat? Now there, are, this is just one example. There are literally hundreds if not thousands of examples out there. And we're gonna look at matching terms. Now you can see for can cats eat, this keyword is searched almost 11,000 times per month and there are 584,000 total volume. So 584,000 people are asking these questions. And so what we can do is we can use this as an example, as, as um, different keywords that we could type in. If you don't have access to this, we could come back over to ChatGPT and we could say, uh, create, uh, create a list of keywords for can cats eat, like this. And it should give us a list of keywords. As you can see here, really simple, really easy. And what we can do is we can then take these keywords and we can ask ChatGPT questions about these keywords. Now, what I recommend that you do is just don't blindly use ChatGPT to answer and solve all your problems. Verify the, that the information is correct. Sometimes ChatGPT actually gives you the wrong information. So what we can do is we can say something like, uh, can cats eat tuna? We're gonna paste that in just like this. And then we can even see something like, um, make shorter for YouTube shorts. Or we could say, provide bullet points. So we're gonna type in make shorter for YouTube shorts, uh, or we could say, um, we're gonna copy this, and we're gonna say something like, uh, turn into bullet points, like this, hit enter, and it's gonna give us some bullet points. We can then take these bullet points, and then we can actually create YouTube shorts, TikTok videos out of them. Now, if we come over to Canva, we can do something like uh, YouTube shorts, we can do uh, TikTok videos, we can do MP4, we can do video, really any of it works. So we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in TikTok videos up in the, the search bar here, and we're gonna click on create a blank TikTok video. Then we are going to come over to uh, Unentitled Design, as you can see here, and we are going to find a picture of cats. And what we're looking for is we are looking for, obviously we're looking for cats. So we could grab, I don't know, grab this one, just like this. And then we can do something like, uh, we're just gonna paste in, can cats eat tuna? We're gonna get rid of that. And then we could actually make this a little bit bigger so that it can be seen. Then we're going to do a new scene here, and then we're simply going to answer the question. Now, what I recommend that you do is go find images of cats. You can find images of, ca of cats for free right in Canva, and we can increase the size here just like this. We'll increase the size just like this. And then we are going to grab our bullet points. Now, what I believe you should do is I, I believe you should have five or six bullet points. Make sure that the video is at least 45 seconds long. Also, I recommend adding in your own your own sound. It's going to help with engagement. It's going to help people watch this video. Now there are people out there that tell you that you don't have to do audio at all. I think you should do audio so that way you're not having to go out and find B-roll. I also think that you should change the length of this video to five seconds. So um, the length of it seen to five seconds like this 
and now we've got a 10 second video. Also, what I would do is I would change the length of this first one to about three seconds so that people aren't spending a bunch of time looking at this singular text on the screen. But I mean, it's really as simple as that. Now, what I think you should do is think about different ways to monetize this type of content. People are going to tell you that you should use the YouTube Partner Program. However, you need lots of views. You need millions of views, literally, in order to make a decent amount of money. Since we're thinking about cats in the pet niche, think about different affiliate offers that you could promote, everything from pet insurance, cat insurance, uh, different dog food, pet food, uh, things that are organic, treats, toys, things of that nature. The cat, the pet business is a huge, big business, and so there's lots of opportunity. Another thing you can do is you could actually create a digital product and potentially sell it on your own. Think about the problems that a pet or cat owner has, and then you can think of different solutions to monetize them. If you're not sure of different ways to monetize, you can head over to a website like Etsy, like this, and then we could type in something like cat. Or we could type in cat planner, we can, cap, we can type in cat digital product. So if I do planner like this, you're gonna see that people are creating digital products. Now you could create this exact same digital product. I'm not telling you to steal anybody's stuff, but look at this for inspiration and ideas. For example, look at this cat care planner. They're selling it for $4.83. You could sell it for $7 if you want to. Now the benefit of creating a digital product with this method is that you're not splitting any of the money and you actually grow a list of buyers. And so you could actually market to them with different affiliate products after the fact and you could make even more money. So the process again is really simple. Think of a niche. In this instance, we used can cats eat. Then we went over to ChatGPT. We also got a list of, of keywords from, from ChatGPT. We asked can cats eat tuna. Now again, you wanna verify this for yourself. Don't just use ChatGPT to give you all the information. Then we asked ChatGPT to put this information in bullet points. We then took these bullet points, went over to Canva, we typed in TikTok video, we got this, this template here, and then we can actually create individual scenes. Now what we could do to keep everything congruent is we could copy this right here like this, copy, and then paste it over here and grab our, our bullet point. Cats can eat tuna, but they but only in moderation. So we're gonna copy that. We're going to paste that in just like this. And then we can just change the background so that it fits. And if we wanted to, we can center it, center it. but it's really as, as simple as this. Now, once you're done with this, you are going to download it to your computer. And once you download it to your computer, you can then upload it to YouTube or TikTok, wherever you wanna go. Now, it's really as simple as this, okay? You wanna make sure that you are consistent and persistent. I had a guy yesterday comment that he created five videos and he didn't see any success. Five videos is absolutely nothing. You need to go in with the mindset that you're going to create content as long as it takes to be successful. Five videos is absolutely nothing. Go in with the mindset, I'm gonna make 100 videos, I'm gonna make 1,000 videos, I'm gonna do whatever it takes if your goal is to be successful online, if your goal is to add an extra $500 per month, you need to say, I'm going to do whatever it takes that's legal and ethical to make an extra $500 per month online. Don't put parameters on it. Don't say, I'm gonna do five videos and if it doesn't work, I'm gonna throw my hands up. That's the wrong mindset. That's the, the limiting mindset. You need to have the mindset that I'm gonna do whatever it takes to be successful. This process is really simple. Think about all of the different ways to monetize everything from digital to physical products. If your account gets big enough, you could potentially sell merchandise. There are lots of opportunities out there. One other caveat that I have, in addition to making sure that the information is correct, also add your voice, add a voiceover. Don't be lazy with this process because a lazy process is going to give you lazy results, okay? So this process can work. Any process that I tell you can work, just pick one and go all in. Now that you know that this process can work, click the first link in the description or go to austingodbolt.com forward slash start for your free affiliate marketing planners. Those planners will help you plan and organize your affiliate marketing business so that you can make more money online. Click the first link in the description or go to austingodbolt.com forward slash start to download your planners today. Watch this video next because YouTube says it will help you grow your online business.